Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note taking improve coaching performance in less than a day. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note taking and planning technique. I've specialized in helping people manage knowledge uh, and information more effectively for the past 20 years. And also during this time, I've done a lot of coaching and mentoring. So how can something as simple as note taking make such a difference with a few more small changes? And in this video, I'll explain how and why as well. So as a coach, one of the key things that, uh, there are two key elements to uh, for me being a coach. One is the relationship and being able to engage with someone on a peer-to-peer -peer level. And the second part is being able to manage the knowledge and manage the knowledge effectively for, for the value of, um, and for the value I can give for the person I'm working with. Now, as a professional coach and mentor, the relationship bit for me is pretty easy. What was more challenging was managing the knowledge because essentially we've only got a couple of options. We can sit and listen, but there's a huge risk there because of, you know, we will be aware as the session goes on, we're forgetting things. That causes a lot of pressure. And then if we go meet someone two weeks later, we'll have forgotten most of it. And that's a lot of pressure, particularly if we're doing a lot of coaching. The other option is we can use previous generation note-taking, note-taking techniques we were taught at school, everyone uses in business. Um, but the problem with that is you just end up writing things down and you may or may not understand it and it's not that easy to go back to. And using a laptop, probably in a coaching, mentoring situation, really is not that comfortable to do because probably anything else puts a barrier between yourself and everyone else. Now, the solution is in fact incredibly simple to enhance performance and we just need to increase two percentages. One is uh, our percentage RTU and the percentage GA. And I'll explain what those are in, in a bit later on and a change in mindset around managing knowledge. And essentially what we do, we make a switch from using pre previous generation note-taking, note-taking technique, which we were all taught at school and everybody uses in the workplace to a next generation note-taking technique and mindset. Really simple and I explain how it works. So up here, um, I have some information. Uh, we need to find one quick technique to help coaches improve their performance and to help them increase their confidence. Now, if I was uh, using previous generation note-taking, note -taking, I might record that in sentences or in bullets. Um, but switching to next generation note-taking, this, there are four key steps. The first one is a deep filter. And so what I do is I'm searching for all what I consider to be the important information and everything else I filter out. So these are the words. I wouldn't put keep to help coaches because by default, I know that's what this is about. Um, improve performance, I'd keep that. And to help them, unnecessary, don't need that. Increase confidence, I'd keep those. Now, everyone would deep filter slightly differently and that's normal. The next secret to next generation note-taking techniques is deep processing. So what you do is you take the knowledge that you filtered out, you break it in single units and then you reconnect it. And that is magical for a, for a reason I'll explain in a second, but I'll give you a demonstration. So let's find one quick technique. I'm going to abbreviate here. I do in practice because it just makes everything much faster. And if I abbreviate properly, I can still read this months later. Uh, performance. Okay, and then the last bit, increased confidence. And I would do this at speaking speed. For me, it's much easier at speaking speed than off reading because it, it's just easier and faster. Um, and confidence. So, now this second step of deep processing is transformational because it 
increases one of these magical percentages. And you remember I said percentage RTU. And you're thinking, what is he talking about? But percentage RTU is crucial, and that's the percentage of real-time understanding. So as I'm coaching someone, I want to understand at a really deep level exactly what they're saying and how it all fits together. Now, if I'm using traditional previous generation note-taking techniques, if what's being said is complex, my understanding is going to be 64%. That's not very comfortable. The great thing is, even after a day of trying next generation note-taking techniques, you know, the deep filtering, deep processing, after two weeks, real-time understanding shoots up to 76%, which is huge. After a year, it gets even better, and it goes up to 84%, which is beautiful. What more can I say? And for people who are dyslexic, it goes up to a staggering 87%. So that's a 20% increase in terms of real-time understanding that I can get compared with other coaches. Straight away as a coach, it's a highly competitive industry, this gives me a competitive edge. But more importantly for me as a coach, I can just give more value to the other people because I'm understanding what they're saying at a, at a much deeper level. The next uh, magical thing, I was looking for a green pen there, got it, is, and again, this is transformational in, in, in of itself, but combined with a, tr a change in mindset, it's a game changer. And it's that second magical percentage, which is percentage GA. And GA starts, stands for glance access, because I'm able to look at that at a glance, whereas I can't look at this at a glance, and I can see what's there. But I can see what's there in the moment, and I can also do that with up to an hour's worth of knowledge. And not only that, I can find at a glance all the major headings, um, I'm able to chunk information under relevant headings and all of these enable me to get an, a much deeper insight into what someone's saying. So typically for a one hour coaching session, I will produce something like this. I, I personally prefer to using an A5 pad. Um, this would be my preparation for the coaching session up here and this would be the session itself. And the glance access, I've got some concentric circles here, so I've taken it one step further than there. And that enables me to look around and see the totality of what someone's saying and to actually be able to use that knowledge real time to be able to ask them better questions, give better quality feedback. More importantly though, for myself as a coach, I feel more confident when I'm doing it. I feel more relaxed. I feel I'm able to give much, much better value. And one of the beautiful things is I can go back and see a coachee or a mentoree like two months later I can t literally, I can take this out two or three minutes before I see them. I can scan around it and I know exactly what I said and what was covered and what they shared with me two months ago or even a year ago. It's really easy to do. So I hope you've liked this. If you have liked this, then please, you know, press the like button. But more importantly, please feel free to start to use some of these next generation note taking techniques. You know, the deep processing, the deep filtering. Um, feel free to start to use some of the smart wisdom technique that I've shown you there. Or, you know, if you want to come and join me as an information athlete and learn more about smart wisdom, of course, feel free to do that. As always, you know, please feel free to comment. And just as important, please feel free to share this video widely um, with anybody who you know is in, is in coaching or managing coaches or has an organization which specializes in coaching. Because next generation note-taking technique can literally transform what's possible. And for a co professional coach, it can make the difference between night and day. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a superb rest of the day. And of course, on the sides, up at the top or down below, I've put together some more free tips for you on how to manage information effectively. Thank you.